humanity is being warned about a strange new pandemic threat. Concerns are being raised by scientists regarding the re-emergence of Arctic zombie viruses in Siberia. While it may seem like a fictional horror story, the reality is unsettling in the light of the COVID pandemic. This threat is being fueled by the rise in shipping activities in the region leading to the release of microbes that have been trapped in permafrost for centuries. The term zombie virus refers to viruses that have the potential to become active even after 50,000 years of lying dormant in permafrost. Scientists believe that they could cause serious diseases. Let's dive right in. This is academic Lomonosov, Russia's floating nuclear power plant. Scientists fear that this floating nuclear power plant could open up new mining opportunities in remote areas of Siberia as melting ice in the Arctic allows for easier access. Mining these deeper depths beyond the active layer that thaws every summer would increase the possibility for human interaction with a potentially harmful ancient pathogen. Permafrost is any ground that remains completely frozen for at least two years straight. Permafrost is made of a combination of soil, rocks and sand that are held together by ice. With its unchanging sub-zero temperatures, it harbors a unique ecosystem where a variety of microorganisms are preserved and active for possibly hundreds of thousands of years. It covers large regions of the Earth with approximately 25% of land in the northern hemisphere having permafrost underneath. Ongoing international research and monitoring consistently prove that the continuous emission of greenhouse gases, especially carbon dioxide, as a result of human activity since the Industrial Revolution, is causing significant climate change through global warming. With the Earth already 1.2 degrees Celsius warmer than pre-industrial times, scientists are predicting the Arctic could be ice-free in summers by the 2030s. One of the most visible consequences of global warming is the thawing of permafrost at increasing depths, which causes release of organic matter frozen for millions of years, including revived cellular microbes and viruses that have been dormant since prehistoric times. Professor Jean-Michel Claverie of Aix-Mercé University a 73 years old virologist who has been studying giant DNA viruses in Siberia since 2014 said that zombie viruses may pose an unprecedented public health threat. The 2023 study led by Clavery published in the MDPI journal Viruses identified 13 different viruses of five different types. Megavirus, Pandora virus, Cedric virus, Pacman virus and pithovirus strain from various locations in Siberia. One of them, called Pandora virus Yodoma, was 48,500 years old. The prepared sample of permafrost was allowed for culturing in petri dishes seeded with the host Acanthamoeba castellani, a commonly found species of amoeba. The advantage of using amoeba as a specific bait to potentially infectious unknown viruses is that it eliminates any risk for crops, animals or humans. 72 hours later, the usual appearance of host cells began to change, indicating that viruses in the permafrost had infected the host cells. It was surprising to see that the viruses that had been frozen in the Siberian permafrost for over 48,500 years were still able to infect host cells. This is a world record in itself for being able to survive for so long. Why is the threat of zombie virus real? What is it that scientists are so afraid of? Do they know something that we don't? Let me show you. 
The Spanish influenza pandemic killed over 20 million people in the year 1918 and 1919, making it the worst infectious pandemic in the history of mankind. Influenza RNA was isolated from analysis of one frozen biopsy of the lung of a victim buried in permafrost since 1918. Fossil records and archaeological findings suggest that Neanderthals inhabited Europe and Asia until, in a sudden change by evolutionary standards, they disappeared around 40,000 years ago. The extinction of Neanderthals is believed to have been influenced by various factors such as competing and interbreeding with early modern humans, the transmission of diseases from modern humans, natural disasters and changes in climate. The virus is revived by Claveri's team after 48,500 years were still active at the time of Neanderthals' disappearance. If Neanderthals died of an unknown viral disease and this virus resurfaces now, it could be a danger to us. The consequences of an ancient virus re-emerging would be catastrophic for plants, animals and humans. It has been extensively recorded during COVID pandemic that every new virus usually calls for the creation of specialized medical responses such as new antivirals or vaccines. It is therefore legitimate to ponder the risk of an ancient zombie virus remaining infectious and getting back into circulation. I hope this video was useful. Thanks for watching the Vital Cube. See you soon.